On our tour through Glidewell Laboratories, Shalom and I ran into Darius Raudis, and we stopped to ask him about his experience with Ember. My, uh, my name is Darius Raudis. I'm a general manager here in uh, Glidewell's implant department. And, uh, you know, we've been using uh, Ember printers now for a while. You know, initially we, we, we did some testing and we decided to kind of switch to Ember from Envision Tech. Mm -hmm. You know, for a couple of reasons, uh, you know, just to save some space, first of all, you know, uh, Ember printers are a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. uh, so you can utilize them in any other space that you want, you know, versus some of the bigger printing machines. You know, you can put them on a different technician's benches and put them in a separate room. You can have a lot of them on a, on a, on a shelf or, you know, so that's one benefit. Also, another benefit is that we can print some of the units that we're printing, like copings or crowns. You know, we can print those uh, much quicker. You know, a turnaround time about takes about 45 minutes. You know, versus some of the other printing machines that we used to use, it took it took up to three hours. You know, so this way it, help, it does help the production a lot because this is a fast sort of fast-paced environment where we do thousands of crowns every day. So we do need those prints to come to the production floor as soon as possible, you know, so we can proceed to the next step. And then what, what Ember Printer does very well, you know, it, we, can, we can print about 45 to, to 40 crowns or copings on one build plate. And uh, it, give us the, it gives us that ability to kind of turn, turn our work a little bit quicker, you know. And it took a while to kind of figure out the crown printing, but coping printing was, was, was very successful from the beginning. So we're very happy with it. Great. And we ran into one of the technicians in there, um, Nezi, I think her name was. Mm -hmm. um, she, she informed us that they're running Ember night and day shifts mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Yes. So just. It runs 24 7, yeah. So okay. currently we have five machines and then we're running all of them. And, you know, we have a good team here over here supporting us all the time. And, you know, it's it's worked out quite fine so far. Great. Yeah. So big picture, how would you describe your experience with Ember? Uh, so far, it's been a great experience. Love great. it. Great. Good. Yeah. And so you have about 20 Embers mm. set up at, at Glidewell right now? Uh, I, be, I believe so. In our department, we have five. So okay. I assume uh -huh. in other departments, when you tally it up, it's probably 20 total uh -huh. or so. Yeah, so we're using them great. and we're liking them. All right, fantastic. Do you have any uh, any wish list items or anything you'd like us to uh, to know for um, to take into consideration? Uh, not really. I would I would I would like to see maybe a slightly bigger build plate. Uh huh. You know, so we could put a little bit more units in there. But you know, once you have five of them on the production floor, I don't think turning the work out is is an issue. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that would be my only wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right.